Father of heaven and earth, hear our prayers. In Advent of 2011, the way we worship in the English-speaking world will change. After years of painstaking work, a new English translation of the Roman Missal, the book containing the text used for the celebration of Mass, has been approved and will be implemented on November 27th. We hear this from St. Paul speaking in Galatians 6.18, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. The response, the Lord be with you and with your spirit, is not a secular greeting like, good morning. It is rather a solemn liturgical act, a prayer that those to whom it is addressed will be prepared to receive all the graces that flow from the sacred liturgy. In the new translation, the response to the Lord be with you will become and with your spirit. That's a huge change. It comes directly from the Latin, et cum spiritu tuo, and with your spirit. It's interesting to note that most of the modern vernacular translations of our liturgy have been using this more accurate version for 40 years. I'd like to take a moment now to discuss the spiritual meaning of this change with you. When St. Paul uses the word spirit, he's using a Greek word with a very specific meaning. The word spirit, pneuma, signifies the superior part of a person that comes directly under God's influence. St. Peter Damien, a doctor of the church writing in the 11th century, expressed it this way. The response expresses a prayer that Almighty God will be with your soul so that it may pray worthily for our salvation. And it is noteworthy that the church does not say with you, but with your spirit, in order to make clear that everything which is celebrated in the services of the church is to be considered as coming about in a spiritual manner. St. John Chrysostom, a father of the church, said this, and with your spirit. By this response, you recall that the one who is there does nothing of himself, nor are the bountiful gifts that are placed before you of human origin. Rather, it is the grace of the Spirit present in and hovering over all things that prepares the mystical sacrifice. For even though it is a man who is present, it is God who works through him. Indeed, fix your attention not on the nature which is seen, but rather consider the grace which is unseen. The new translation will take time to learn and to live. A whole new world, the ancient treasure of our liturgy, is about to be opened up for the English-speaking world for the first time. The new translation of the Roman Missal will assist the Church immensely in encountering and living out the Eucharistic mystery. I'm Father Brandon Jones, and this has been a Missal Moment.